Hello everybody, my name is Roostash and today, 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 I will be telling you guys how to make a super easy, super simple elevator, Minecraft 1.18+. And uh, everything you need to do is on the left side of the screen. These are these are all the materials. And before we get on to the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you found this useful. And uh, let's get on with the video. Oh, and uh, this is how it looks, by the way, if you're, if you're curious. You just step on this and it'll immediately go. It's really simple. I'm gonna build this elevator on this super cool looking island right here, and uh, I'll show you that this may take much space, like an entire island or anything. It's super simple. All you do is you want to dig, I think, a three by three by five down a uh, hole. So it should be like one, two, three, one, two, and it should be a three by three. Make this five down. So dig as far as you can down, and then just dig one more layer. So it should look like one, two, three, four, five, five deep, and a three by three area. Now what you want to do, you just want to place a sticky piston right here, and then you want to get, uh, make a little little tunnel right here, and then uh, you can just place a redstone torch right there. This is going to be extended, you know, it makes sense, right? Let's just build a little bit more dig space. Oh, great gravel. Every time, man. Every goddamn time. All right, so now that you have this, you want to dig a block right down and redstone repeater. This will cause, see if I were to activate this, the piston to retract. So, we're just going to do that same concept, except we're going to make a little thing up here. Now, obviously, we don't have any reference points on where our elevator is going to be, right? Because we haven't built it. So, we're just going to make the super simple flying machine. I know, you hear flying machine, you think it's super scary, super crazy big thing. It's just a 2 by 4 thing. It's super simple. Now, all you need to do is you want to place an observer like this and make sure the red dot is facing the sky that would mean that the i am done with you face is facing towards the piston now what you want to do is you want to get two not two but one sticky piston right here and two more slime blocks obviously the slime block will slick stick to the dirt so get two immovable objects i'm using blast furnaces because i'm in creative i do not care about my materials, I have infinite materials. But if you're in survival, I suggest just replacing my blast furnace with just a normal furnace because it's much easier to make. You get it super early on in the game and it's an immovable object. Now, this is not it. I mean, this doesn't make sense. How would this fly up? We need another mechanism. So, we're just gonna go to the sticky piston. We're gonna place one down here and uh, two more sticky pistons or slime blocks right here and here. So it should look something like this. And now, just place a final observer, like so. So basically what this is, is one, this uh, thing is pushing up this one, and this one is pushing up the other one. So it's like an infinite loop, and it's going to keep going up forever. But we do not want that. We do want the, the, this elevator to stop at the top floor. But first, before we do any of that stuff, we need to first set up our activating mechanism because this won't go anywhere if that observer doesn't activate and that is why the piston is here so now i'm just going to connect this to our main floor basically so if you just get a slab right here just place it right there and then uh get some spruce planks you know whatever and then i'm gonna place two spruce planks right there get a button uh yep click this button this should go up and i'm just gonna wire it up now obviously i'm guessing most of you know what wiring up is i'm just getting some redstone and placing it right behind this button so if i press this button the redstone will activate and i'm just gonna connect that to this uh redstone repeat right here and now just before you test right don't test yet Place an immovable object on top of this slime block so uh, you can check. Alright, the sticky piston or the activating bit system is completely working. I can destroy this and place an oak slab and this part of the video is almost done. Now, you just need to add some immovable objects right here. Let's add some more right here. And I'm just going to cover it off like this. And uh, just like that. Your upping mechanism, should I call it the upping? The elevating, sure, that's cool. The elevating system is completely done. But now, like, how will this stop? It's just gonna go up to the stratosphere and explode or something. I, I don't know how this works. What I recommend is actually making some stilts. So you can just go up a bunch of stilts right here. So you can just get a bunch of stilts here, place them in the sky. I'm only gonna make it this big. Of course, you can make it as big as you want. It's not like this thing is super slow. I think it goes a block every, uh, like, point nine seconds or whatever i think it's less than a second or maybe it's exactly a second i don't know basically what i'm saying is this thing's not too slow but it's not too fast it's kind of medium so if you're traveling like 200 blocks plus on this thing it's gonna get a little boring and i suggest you invest in some more materials to make more faster type elevators but other than that this is basically good for everything else now you just want to build one block 
and the second block right here and i'm looking at the observer because i'm maturing i'm to, i'm trying to make sure that this block right here is lined up like this side to the observer right there so now once i know that it's lined up i'm just gonna replace this block with a piston of my choice sticky piston for me i'm just gonna choose that and then add some more immovable objects right here as movable objects right here just checking that everything won't stick and it's just gonna fit nice and snug in this little like socket right here so now we're just gonna do the same thing we did before with the uh, uh what's it called the pistons uh to activate this thing what do we call it the elevating mechanism yes yeah, so we're just gonna do that the same thing but for this one so basically just build a block right here and place a redstone torch and then it should, you know, activate. And since this is an immovable object, it should not retract back with the piston. So that's always good. And now let's get some, uh, let's say, repeaters. So we can shut off this redstone signal right here. And then let's get some buttons. So we know that the, what's it called? The elevator will be around here. So I'm just going to place a button right here. I think that'd be perfectly fine. Right, I just did the same thing, I just connected it up, and it should look something like this. It should just retract and, you know, go back. And now we can just destroy the slab, make sure it's not there, and make sure this is an immovable object, because this will get caught by the pistons, and we do not want that at all. It's just gonna add extra blocks to the movement. It's not like it slows it down or anything, Minecraft's not that realistic, but I think it looks ugly on the way up and down. I suggest you don't do it. So now to test this entire thing, let's see if we made it well or not. I have a feeling we made it well. All you need to do is just step on this slab right here, press the button. As you can see, our mechanism is going up, just like so. It's going super fast. My Y is, I think, going one a second. I don't know exactly, though. And soon, it'll just stop at exactly this one right here. And then I'm at my floor, I can go off, do whatever I want. I'm just going to make this a little bigger. And then when we're done, we can just press the button to go down. And we're going down now. Some of my favorite things to do on this is actually just jump. And I, I feel like I'm falling extra. And as you can see, it stops right here because of our mechanism down there. And just like that, everything is working in harmony. It's absolutely perfect. Hmm, what should we do? Uh, let's see. Oh, for a community challenge, make sure to comment and uh, tell me or describe your best decoration for these things. Because right now, this thing looks kind of boring. It needs your pizzazz, I'll be honest. Anyway, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video, found it useful in any way. I'll see you guys later. Bye 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 bye.